Did it come through? Just now. Oh, I just got this picture. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be a tougher journey than I thought. You took the test. <laughs> yep, looks like we're having a baby. I'm Mo. And I'm Ko. We bought our first house together as newlyweds. It's a fixer-upper. Big time. Muscle. Everything needs to be redone. From the foundation to the roof. And we invite you to join us through the entire renovation process. This is the site now. From the beginning all the way to the end. Now they have started their journey making this house their masterpiece. This is all new frame. This is all fresh wood. <laughs> Mo, what y'all doing, man? This is Mo and Co. Reno. So, the process has begun. Mm -hmm. The first step is to get rid of all the bad landscaping in the back. <laughs> Overgrown trees, ivy everywhere. Right, because the ivy and the cypress trees are known to attract rodents. <laughs> That's not her favorite, it's no. not my favorite. <laughs> we also want to do that so that the guys can see parts of the house that we're going to have to change. Right, and get around the house more easily. Yeah, because right now the ivies are in the way of the walkway, they can't get through. They start cutting these things down, I'm saying there, and I'm documenting all this stuff. Well, Trees falling down. <laughs> That's crazy. You want to see that number? Are you there? It's a number? Yeah. yeah. We had a, a neighbor in the back of us complaining that we cut down the ivy and the trees. Hey, why you cut that down here? You know, that was privacy for us. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> we didn't want rats and stuff in the sorry, backyard. I ain't sorry, <laughs> I ain't sorry. <laughs> It's all gone. What are you thinking when you first come and see what they've been doing? I'm thinking that it's looking good. Wow. It means we're one step closer to finishing this project, as daunting as it finishing. might sound. We, just, we haven't even touched the house. We're talking about <laughs> landscape. She's talking about Okay, finishing. well, how about we're one step into the process that will get us closer to finishing the house? Beginning. <laughs> Build a deck up there. We can walk around the house. That's <laughs> yes. a new improved change. Mm -hmm. And we're anxious to figure out the next step that we can move with the restraints we have <laughs> uh, for starting on the property. Right. Our realtor, he's a good friend, he's an agent, he's a broker, he's whatever. <laughs> Darren Gooden is uh, working on the senior facility, so we donated a lot of the fixtures that were old school that right. may be to their liking, but not too large. Right, the doors. Right. This particular home had finishes and detail that was from a different era. And what happened, I have another client of mine that runs a senior facility. So what they do is they buy homes and they turn these homes into a senior facility to care for our loved ones, our grandparents and parents once they have different ailments. But there were finishes that were unique that you couldn't find in stores today. So we went ahead and had a great idea of taking some of that hardware, those finishes, the light fixtures, some of the molding, some of the paneling, and uh, put this into some of the homes that we were remodeling for these senior facilities. Yeah. So he starts removing those cabinets and the switch plates and uh, doing a little demo in the kitchen right. to get to those cabinets. Mm -hmm. So that all was helpful for us because that was something he wanted to do and mm -hmm. we didn't have to pay for that. So that was our little pre-demo process. Right. And it was like a perfect marriage 
of uh, using some of the finishes from the 1920s and 1930s into a 2016 home that's being remodeled. It turned out amazing. We had a plumber come by the house to estimate what was going to be needed uh, inside of the house. But he said, you know what? Look at this main water line. He says, it's toast. That's his. <laughs> he said they use PVC to galvanize and it's not good and we're going to have to change that. And currently the old water service line is like going all the way to the front of the garage right. and then going up and then zigzagging <laughs> over here and it's just nasty they're cut they cut through the old uh work they had cut through the rafters mm -hmm. consecutively in the same <laughs> spot big old notches all right to fit the plumbing through and that's not structurally sound no. <laughs> so he couldn't see everything he sees copper in the basement um and, and some in at the other fixtures so he thinks that part is good but mm -hmm. Um, there's some leaks in the house that we know about, right. but we'll have to figure that part out later. Yeah, and speaking more on those leaks, you would literally flush a toilet and see water coming down the walls and dripping everywhere. So we know we have some issues. Uh, I don't know if it was the, the waistline. I don't know if it's the waistline. I think it's uh, the connections at the fixtures were right. leaking. But yeah, they would be dripping in the Everywhere. main. <laughs> and so there was no sh main shutoff valve. You just have to go straight to the street. Mm -hmm. They're digging under the sidewalk, mm -hmm. uh, not destroying the sidewalk, right. digging under it, mm -hmm. and then um, going to the planter area in mm -hmm. front of the house. Mm -hmm. So they had to dig like six feet down. Yeah, yeah. It was like yeah. six or eight feet. I don't know. Right. By hand, he's. <laughs> I'm like, boy, he's sweating. <laughs> this is one worker here. <laughs> okay, we already closed the the line. We don't touch the sidewalk because we have to run in the new water service line. So we are okay now. So we are 18 uh, inches deep, and then we want to touch 15 feet away from the wall, and then 20, 15 feet more, and then we can hook up for for the new line. working on the main water service line mm -hmm. that goes from the meter on the outside to the house. We have a leak here because the main shut off valve don't shut it off complete. So they're working on getting that copper. Okay. This is the water regulator because we require for pressure for the house you know it's a level pressure for the house it's a Wilkins 600 psi which is the high range and I have fittings in here we want to use a progress fitting those kind of fittings it's approved for the state of California which is the company certified for 30 40 years is NIPCO so now you can see the regulations in here. It's approved for the city. All require safety stuff from, you know, for the city. And I'll show you the quality for those kind of fittings. This is a 90 inch and a half. That type of fittings is high tech if you see the O-ring inside. So we don't need solder, we don't need flax for that kind of stuff. The only thing we have to do is the right process to, you know, cut it, cut clean reamer properly and all the way through here maybe it's like inch and a quarter inch and a half all the way in and they want to use a pro press machine bump the mean is like like I told you it's high quality and no solder no flux and then it's heavy duty he keeps telling me yes the meter to the street is the city <laughs> and from 
the meter to the other side is the owner's responsibility. <laughs> we want to close the water service now, which is responsibility for the city. And after that kind of pushing the responsibility to the owner. Okay, we have the water off complete from the city. So now I have to take it off the full piece complete. This is a normal leak because the line is a full water. Now we just connect it complete. We have to unscrew the PVC, which is an inch and a half. But we have a reducer in here, so I want to touch with everything with copper. We're not going to use any more propers stuff. That part is from the city. And the, here, the front to all the way to the inside of the house is uh, uh, the owner uh, responsibility. So now, we're going to screw that part. Out the part. Make sure the thread is in good shape. Which is, to me, it's in good shape. We have to put Teflon tape. Female adapter, one inch. We have to reamer. It's got Pro Press. I'm learning about Pro Press where they don't have to weld the pipes. Now, the next step is to go to press. That kind of machine is a German machine with uh, American fitting got this fancy machine. So we are ready for press. So we take the dimensions for that. This is one inch just, one inch in here. And then you have to press like that for at least 10 seconds. Boom, the machine release the pressure. And then now we have the solid piece done. We don't need fire, we don't need any solder. And then uh, it's approved from from the city like 11, 12 years ago. Okay, water service from street attached to the owner responsibility. We have an inch and a half uh, main valve, pro press. We have a reducer, inch and a half by one. We have a brass nipple, three inches, attached with a regulator. And then we have a TNT valve, relief valve, like water service is required. So I guess we are okay with that, no leaks. And then uh, we gotta go attach the new line for the existing one inside. We had a delay process where we couldn't start working on the house that we'll have to tell you about later because it's still a touchy subject for her. Yes. <laughs> Why we had to delay the process. All right, but we're in full force now. Right. If you'd like to stay updated, subscribe to us on YouTube.